Hello! Do you remember holding your Game Boy in your hands and thinking to yourself, my god, I really wish this thing could take tiny little incredibly grainy four grayscale photographs? Well, me neither, but that didn't stop Nintendo releasing in 1998 the Game Boy Camera. As you can see, it is basically a digital camera stuck in a Game Boy cartridge. This one's yellow, but it was available in a variety of colours, including not yellow. Um, yeah, it was the, actually the smallest digital camera on the market at the time. I think it was in the Guinness Book of Records for a while, actually. Although thinking about it, as they weren't doing, you know, sophisticated techniques such as colour, I suppose it wasn't that difficult. But hey, this was marketed more as a toy than uh, something to make professionals wet their pants and get on the cover of National Geographic with. <coughs> In fact, Nintendo actually got Creatures Incorporated, which was the company that made Earthbound, amongst other games, to make the software for it. So it's all very fun and jolly. And also, you can rotate the camera around to selfie mode, as we would probably call it these days before somebody kicked our fucking teeth in. Um, yeah, I'm going to use it this way around. So obviously there isn't just a sofa to be looking at when we activate it. I should be using the Game Boy Light for the simple reason that it comes up clearest on the camera. Ooh. Ah, gotta love that noise. Welcome to the wacky world of the Game Boy Camera. <clears throat> Here we go. Look, Mario dances for your enjoyment. And there's all sorts of little weird Easter eggs on this. For instance, push up, dances faster, push down, dances slower. And that's the kind of thing we want. Right, I'm going to quickly take a photo with it, and then I'm going to turn the lights off so that uh, you can see the screen without reflections and stuff. Really nice music in this as well. Shoot, view, or play. We would like to shoot, please. Now, as you can see, when you go into the menus, they're all set up like an RPG. It's all very strange. Welcome to my parlour, says weird stick-necked princess in her room full of glowing petals. Makes sense to me. What's the sound of the corner there, Jupiter? Hmm, can't really make it out. Right, shoot. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's me, everybody! Hooray! Except you can't see me. <laughs> right. As you can see, it doesn't have the quickest update, to say the least. Hey, 90s technology, man. Oh, you can sort of get what's going on there. Look, there's the camera. There's a collar. There's my mouth above it. Talking things. You can alter the brightness and contrast manually, but um, as a rule of thumb, if I remember, that tends to just mess things up. It does quite a good job on the auto. Eleven shots left, because, unbelievably, it can only hold thirty tiny little photos. Such a shame. Right, I'm going to quickly take a photo of myself. You probably won't be able to see this properly. Or, in fact, at all. Um, how are we going to do it? There we are. Oh man, this is proving much more difficult than I'd anticipated. I might have to actually turn the brightness or the contrast a bit. Yep, this is not going to be looking too good. Yep, I shall save that photo. <clears throat> Let's have a look at that photo. Oh my god. The princess is gone. We've now got worried man with bad glasses before he goes off to be in CSI. Check! And on that bombshell, I'm going to turn the lights off. Back in a second. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it is actually coming up with the uh, face recognition on the camera. <clears throat> Occasionally. Yeah, that probably wasn't the optimum lighting conditions. It's one of those things where basically you have to be in the world's brightest place for it to really take anything. But anyway, let's go through the features. We are currently in the shoot menu, as you saw at the start. Worried man with his uh, glass. Oh my god, I don't think he is wearing glasses. I think he's just got massive black square eyes. That's a bit of a problem. Right, shoot is the obvious. Uh, item, you know, it takes photos. I, don't know, I felt I had to point out the obvious there, but there we go. Items. I am the man, says somebody who looks like he's escaped from a Napoleon Dynamite. There's self-timer and time-lapse. You can guess how that works. Self-timer, put it somewhere, takes a photo after a certain amount of time has elapsed. Time-lapse, takes a photo every so often, but up to a maximum of 30, so you're not exactly going to get very impressive effects. Magic. Hmm, this really is an RPG setup, isn't it? Shudderberg. Trick lenses, montage, panorama, and game face. Why is trick lenses? 
Ah, we can't see anything because now it's dark. <laughs> the joy. Okay, what this does is um, you can take photos with something on the left or right and it will superimpose it. I remember all this. Montage, stick a load together, panorama, try and make a big vista. It's not really going to work with this. And game face is quite interesting. You can actually take images of your own face and use them in little games, as we shall see later. But anyway, let's get moving along because there's a lot to get through. Check will actually let you see the photos you've taken. So we go back to this beauty. All these ones are blank. But what have we got back in time? Well, this is a picture I took a couple of years ago, I think, if I recall. Uh, yes, it would be, actually. That, oh my god, that is Miguel, who I used to work with many years ago when I bought this camera. Uh, Super Mario wasn't really there, we added that in as a stamp later. And these are photographs of Tyler the Rabbit, now deceased for many years, bless her. But she lives on in the form of these slightly dodgy looking photos. And the first one, this is fascinating because this was actually in the camera when I bought it. It is the sort of boat thing that James Bond uses in, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, the World Is Not Enough, maybe? The one where there's an attack on MI6 at the start and he goes and escapes up the Thames in his magic boat. This is indeed that boat, and if I recall, it was on display at the Millennium Dome. So I would say whoever originally owned this camera took this photo in about the year 2000. Mm, exciting. Now the other option is slightly infamous. Press Run, and... Who are you running from? asks slightly scary face man. Um, this is one of those things where you see this written a lot on the internet where uh, people were absolutely terrified of these faces when they were young. And they don't look that scary, do they? When you press a thing and a silly face comes up, what's the problem? Tell you what the bloody problem is, guys. Sometimes they just pop up between menus when you're doing other things with a weird noise. So it's scaring the shit out of the eight-year-olds who are playing with this. Other options include... You are now crossing the equator! Jambo Nintendo! Marvellous. That's the one that usually shows. There is another face, if we can get it up. No. We want the other face. No. Oh god, we'll be here forever, aren't we? No. No. Got it. That is one thin face. I hope that's been in some way altered. If not, that person has the most interesting skull shape in history. Who are you running from indeed? The answer is, of course, you. Right, so that's the shoot. You could also view, which I would imagine you would think off the top of your head would be very similar to the check menu from shoot. And you wouldn't be entirely wrong. Here's the inception of face eating. Yeah, I could look at that all day. No, I couldn't. Album. This is literally a case of pick out one of the photos, and it shows it. Yeah, you can kind of do that quite easily with a check on the other one, really, can't you? It's really weird going through this thing after having not seen it for years. Slideshow, animation and hotspot are available. Slideshow. Oh yeah, that is literally a case of just shows things in order. Very exciting. Hotspot, if I recall, on this. You can put little um, buttons around this in an edit mode, and then when you click on them with a little hand, a little noise plays or something. It's not very exciting, to be honest. And animation. Ah, so arty. Press A to begin. And you can see a little animation of Tyler the Rabbit there. Go on, once more for the kids. And it goes out of focus to provide a dreamlike exterior. Uh, yeah, I need you to focus on that again. That's quite important. Focus! Oh, Mr. Autofocus, why you hurt us so? There we go. Right. Next up. That was, that was amazingly underwhelming, actually. I remember that being <laughs> more sort of interesting options in that. Play. Now we're talking. It starts off with Space Fever 2, which presumably is a reference to the old Nintendo game Space Fever. Let us shoot B. Oh, I've missed it. If you miss more at the start, you actually get to play Space Fever 2 for a little bit, which is almost impossible um, from my point of view, because I'm having to look through a viewfinder and can see virtually nothing. Anyway, you can keep going, shoot the boss, everybody loves you, the world ends, all that sort of thing. Exit. Play. Now, if you shoot one of the ones at the start, you have B, question mark, and D. I'm going to go for B, which is Ball Game, as referenced by this man with a very untidy beard. Face. They have various faces you can put on the characters in the game, as you'll see in a second. But I'm going to go with question mark, which is the one I made earlier. It's basically my face, but from like 15 years ago or something. And yes, 
Who's seen this on the Game & Watch? Answer, pretty much all of us. <sighs> don't remember this being very exciting at the time, really. Um, and many years later, stuck in a camera is not doing it any favours. Even the face has stopped amusing me. Drop the ball! Oh no! He looks upset. And yet, also inverted. Thanks, bald man. You've really made our day. Enough! Show us another game. Play. Gets us go for DJ. Which is on the right there. Except I can't see what I'm doing to actually shoot it. There we are. Make your own beats as the DJ. Cool data. You, I would like a sample, please, because uh, I, I remember I couldn't actually get my head around this. And I very much don't. I've suddenly learned how to do it in the intervening years. Cool data too, please, Mr. DJ Man. And use one of the inbuilt faces, rather. Nah, use mine again. It's funnier. Well, I can sort of wave arms. Oh, no. Do, 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 do. What have I done? He doesn't look very happy. I'm kind of confused by this. I could never really get my head around this, but it's like a sort of very simple music creation thing. And you can scratch. That's amusing me more than it should. Right. No, do not save these beats. Yes, call it quits. How do you actually make it? I remember there was a bit where you could get like a keyboard up. Cool data, new, here we are. Surely that will do it. So what? what ah, forget it. I'm sure there was a little keyboard that came up and you could sort of piss around with it. Probably if you're very musically minded and you're easily amused, you will get some enjoyment out of that, but that's not quite working for us, unfortunately, on the old camera. And the middle one, which I seem to remember you had to unlock by getting a higher score in Space Fever 2, is run, run, run! There's a stick man, there's a mole, who will be first to the end? A to run, B to flap, up to jump. Right, I can manoeuvre my hands around a bit for this one. Ready? Damn you, mole. It was a bird as well, I don't remember that. Am I also racing the bird? I'm confused. Oh my goodness. Oh, nope. I don't think I'm going to do very well at this. Uh, no. I'm going to try and do it without flapping, actually, because the whole flapping thing is causing me troubles. Oh my goodness, come on, wavy stick man with my head. Which is not a phrase I thought I'd be using when I got up this morning. Come on. I think the mole beat me. He did indeed. But I beat the bird. The bird was in the race, as all birds should be. Man, he's having a right sulk, isn't he? Either that or he's chewing something with no teeth. Hmm, I think I had teeth at the time. I do now. If I didn't then, where did they come from? Ah, and that's pretty much the play of it. Do you know what? This isn't as exciting as I remembered. I suppose most of the joy is does come from the shootings. Tell you what, let's press the select button, which makes crazy shit happen. Oh my god, we've got inside. Link to the Game Boy printer. We'll get onto that in a second. Special, I don't remember. Edit. Oh yeah, that enables you to make your own slideshows and animations. Doodle. Stamp or paint. Go on, let's paint on Mario. Or not. There we are. Let's take that recent picture of me. Yeah, that's looking really good. Masterpiece. I don't think I will bother saving that. <laughs> Go on, give us a stamp. Oh no, I'm still in paint, aren't I? Paint, stamp. Now this is more like it. Yes. Yes. There we are. That is my new look for the new year. Right, uh, what was the other one? Special, I don't remember this. Ah, it's how you can make those hotspot things and that. Very nifty picture of Mario in a car there. We like it. Let me have its hotspot so something happens if you uh, poke my eye there. Oh, I can't read this properly. Sound? Yes, it should make a bleep noise. And an effect. And it doesn't jump to another one. Okay. Perfect. Save, yes. Exit, yes. Now if I go back into the hotspot thing from the uh, view menu at the start, I can now go show, hotspot, that one, and now if I poke my eye, 
Yep, I seem to remember that being pretty shite, and I'm going to be honest with you, nothing has changed. <laughs> right, and the last option is to press start, which I think is the credits. Yep, uh, you can change your username, yep. See your high scores. What's... Oh, I see, it's a record. I think I was going to say, what's the difference between record and high score? But there we are. That's all the stuff this thing has done. Marvellous. And the credits. Which is kind of weird. I remember this now. You just get kind of little animations. And a bit of slightly depressing music. And references to old games. Tell you what else I remember. If you press start, nothing happens. Is it select? No, is it B? Here we go. You get what is quite possibly Shigeru Miyamoto having a bit of a dance. Worth the price of admission alone, friends. This wasn't a particularly expensive thing, but man, that's a bit odd. Right, what I am now going to do is turn the old lights back on and we shall have a look at the Game Boy printer. Click. Hands up who's ever works in a shop and think this looks like the thing that prints the receipts. Well done, it's effectively the same technology. It is a thermal printer. So you get like this paper that it makes hot in certain places and it makes those bits go black. And then when it spews it out, you have got a pretty picture of Mario with the onion up his bum or whatever you have made with it. This was also released in 1998. Uh, it's compatible with about 35 games, I think, which will like let you print pictures or high scores and it's all a bit pointless. It of course came into its own when uh, put together with the Game Boy camera. Also takes an awful lot of batteries. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Yep, six double A's. That's a lot of juice. Right, um, the actual stuff it prints on is interesting. It's sticky-backed, if I recall, so you can, you know, peel it off and stick it to people's heads and annoy them. Um, the big problem is, over the years, it's all kind of gone off. I have actually got an original roll in here, so it probably won't be as clear as it could be. Uh, your best bet these days is to get, like, a thermal transfer till roll from, like, a receipt machine and then cut it to fit. It won't damage the printer at all, although it will be a massive pain in the arse. The rolls you've got, they advertised um, as having... I think, I've got to remember the top of my head, I think they said you could get like 180 photos on them, but in reality it was closer to about 110, which was mildly scandalous at the time. Anyway, let us get our cable and plug it on in into the external socket here. Plug it on in to the uh, Game Boy Light and switch it back on. That might be a good start. What a surprise. I thought it had been made by Sega in the intervening few minutes. Right. Okay, game freak and creatures. What we want to do is, I think it's from the select one, isn't it? There's, yep, there we are. Link. And as you can see, that is a picture of a link to a printer. Or another Game Boy to swap photos over. So, print or transfer. I'm going to go for print, please, princess, with weird floating man hasslinger. Uh, print or option. What is option? I don't know there being options. Oh my goodness. I'm doing multiples and being confusing. Nope. Hmm, it's really confused that cockerel. Never mind. I want to print that lovely picture of me with bad eyes. That's it. Perfect. Print. Print error 02. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to turn on the printer. <clears throat> Printer's on now. <laughs> Print! Transferring. Oh, it's a going. <gasps> so exciting. Oh! Oh my god, there's a science man look hassling a hamster. That hamster looks like the robots from the upcoming uh, Star Wars film that's shown in the trailer. Just thought I'd mention that. And here we go. Yeah, <clears throat> I seem to remember that was slightly less shite at the time. It was still quite banded, if I recall, but um, yeah, I think that paper may have gone off over the years. All you can see is terrifying eyes floating in space. And that's not really an image we want to finish on. Go on, let's grab another one. Let us print the slightly better picture of me from years ago. Transferring. Think how slow that connection must be for how small that picture is. It's not exactly USB 3. Right, here we go. Oh my god, this is well beautiful. We can kind of make out what this is. 
A um, little bit of uh, slightly germane information for you. Many years ago I did a live panel show thing which was broadcast over the internet and I had to come up with all the rounds and all the jokes and things. And one of the rounds was I printed pictures of celebrities that I had taken with the Game Boy camera and printed on the Game Boy printer and you had to try and guess who they were after we'd blown them up. It was more difficult than you'd think. I tell you what, let's have a quick go at that now. So, can everybody guess who this is? Yes, that's right. It's clearly a young Tom Cruise from the cover of the Legend Blu-ray. I think what we've got here is a bit of a problem with it. A, not focusing very well, and B, you know, printer out of date a bit. <clears throat> not really going to win the awards with that one. But fortunately, it is sticky-backed, and so I can now improve my Blu-ray copy forever. So much better. And here's the second one. Can you guess who it is? No, not him. No, not her. No, not that. It's celebrity chef Barry Lewis, who I do the taste testing stuff with, taken from the front of his book and printed so badly it could frankly be any human who has ever lived. And finally, this is just me, but I did it with that trick shot where it um, transposes one side of your face onto the other so you look like something that the Incredible Hulk ate and shat out again. So there we go. That is the Game Boy camera and the Game Boy printer. Well, they're pretty hard to look at them now with uh, advances in the said sort of areas, but I think the Game Boy camera, especially at the time, was a really good bundle of fun. Really good laugh. Wasn't that expensive. Keeps the kids quiet, doesn't it? Printer, I seem to remember being a bit more expensive and slightly underwhelming, so not so sold on that one. But hey, as nostalgia goes, I give these three spangles out of the Moomins. Subscribe for more.